In this video, I'm going to show you how to publish your poster to PDF. Uh, there are a lot of ways to export, or there are lots of options to export your poster to PDF. But this method here is, for me, is the safest way to export as a PDF, uh, poster to the PDF. Because what it does, it changes your whole poster to a high-resolution JPEG. Uh, which means to say all the fonts, all your text, all your images, all your graphics will be locked into place, which means to say what you see in your poster is what you get when you publish to PDF. Now there are also there are some disadvantages to this kind of process. Um, what I can see in the uh, uh, the disadvantage is the file size is going to get bigger. Uh, and if you export this to, you know, this big JPEG poster to, to PDF, uh, the user or the sorry, the viewer of your PDF cannot select your text. But for this video, I'm just going to show you how to change it to a big JPEG. Okay. So the very first thing you have to do is make two versions of your poster. Okay. Now, if you notice, this poster here is pdftutorials.cdr. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on File, Save As, and then I'm going to save it as PDF Tutorials for Printer. I'm going to click on Save. Now, why am I doing that? I'm doing that so that, uh, I'm doing that so that just in case I'm going to go back and change some text. I can still edit it as long as I, you know, I go back to the PDF tutorials, not the PDF uh, tutorials for printer, because this one we're going to save it as a big JPEG, okay? big high resolution JPEG. Our poster is around 35 and a half by 48 inch. And so what I'm going to do here is I want to unlock the objects. If there are objects locked in your, in your poster, uh, those object, objects won't be exported as PDF. So make sure to unlock the object. So first of all, I'm going to go to objects. In an earlier version, that would be arrange. But for me, I'm using the X7 version. It's under objects. Again, for earlier version, it would be under Arrange. So Object, and then I'm going to go to Lock, and I'm going to Unlock All Objects. When I unlock all objects, another thing to check too is your object, um, object properties. So you go to Windows, and you go to Dockers, and then go to Object Manager. So in Object Manager, you will see the layers, and then make sure the the uh, uh, you know there's an icon here that says No Printing, that should be unchecked. So make sure that's unchecked. Document Grids is fine because those are non-printable. Uh, so make sure that the objects are all um, available for printing because in publishing to PDF, that's also the same as printing. So make sure there's no icon with no print here okay so after that what you're going to do is you're going to select all the objects now to make sure that all the objects are selected what i normally do or my habit is to delete it and if i see there's nothing in my in my graphics area I means to say i selected it uh, the right way so i'm going to undo here and and that's it. So now I'm all I'm selecting all the objects. Now you go to bitmap and click on convert to bitmap. Now when you click on convert to bitmap, you're going to have this kind of dialog box. Now if your poster is small, let's say if you have a letter size poster, you should make this 300 dpi. But since our poster is 30 and a half, 35 and a half by 48, we can make this 200 dpi. 200 dpi is fine for for uh, large format posters like this. Now for the color mode, we'll just keep it as CMYK. 
and anti-aliasing is fine and you don't need to click on uh, you don't need to select transparent background that will just make the size bigger so let's see if you if the compress, compressed file is 325 megabytes if I remove the transparent background that would dramatically change the file size so uncheck transparent background uh, keep anti-aliasing checked and click OK okay so now you notice that uh, we have if I go to wireframe and click on wireframe here view wireframe there is one big JPEG okay uh, I'm going to go back to my enhanced view and since we're looking at it in a in a smaller view uh, you might be uh, you might be you know you might say that the text here are not are not high resolution uh, if, but if you zoom in it is it is high resolution so you don't worry about you know seeing it as jagged so that is still fine okay now we are ready to to export as PDF so uh, I want you to click on file and then click on publish to PDF when you click on publish to PDF you're going to have this dialog box here okay so I want you to click on save file type as it's going to be PDF see here in PDF presets I want you to go to prepress again this is important to make it prepress because we want to make our poster really high quality okay but after clicking on prepress I want you to go to settings and we're going to change one thing here one setting we don't need to change any the settings in general we just have to go to prepress the tab prepress here and we're going to just change uh, click on this one the bleed limit will just remove that and then click OK and now we can save our our PDF I'm just going to put here version 2 and click on save okay so the process is already done um, the most important thing to do is before submitting your poster to a printer make sure to preview the PDF first okay okay so now I open I'm gonna open my my uh, poster file or my PDF in in Acrobat so this is what I have now now you have to check you really have to check everything you have to check if all the elements here I'm gonna put it side by side here hopefully you can see that um, okay. put that side by side here and check everything check all the elements in your poster if it's all there and if it's all there if you're happy with the PDF you can submit this PDF to the printer now you can also want to double check you go zoom in if you really notice that it's really a high quality PDF because I'm like 125 percent um, 125 percent view here and it's really high resolution okay so that's it that's the uh, that's a tutorial about uh, changing it to PDF